Drake responds to Kanye West's comments regarding their recent feud. Plus, Yeezy reveals if he was the one who told Pusha T about Drake's son. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, and Kanye recently revealed his new glow-in-the-dark Yeezys. Gotta say, these look fire. This shoe right here is just too hot. Kim also tweeted that North inspired Kanye to make these, saying, I was bribing North to wear her Butter 350s by saying they were glow-in-the-dark. However, she made me turn off the lights to test it. She caught me lying, but Kanye was on speakerphone and said, don't worry, I'll make them. Well, most people hearing this are like, oh, adorable story. I'm on this side thinking, damn, Kim's got to bribe her own daughter to rock Ye's merch. Whack. Speaking of Kimberly, our reporters in LA with sources close to her say she's nervous about Kanye potentially going on tour. Kanye's been discussing hitting the road to do some shows for fans and bringing Kim along to keep her mind more at ease. Recall the last time Kanye was on tour, he claimed Jay-Z had killers out to get him, dissed Drake and Hillary Clinton, and praised Trump after he won the election, all before he was hospitalized. Regardless, Kim's doing her best to love and support whatever he does. I'm pretty sure Kim K's face is on the Mount Rushmore of ride or die wifeys. On Ye's latest interview, he recently spoke to 107 Point five and apologize for his slavery was a choice comment on TMZ. I don't know if I properly apologize for how that slave comment made people feel. I want to take this moment right now to say that I'm sorry for hurrying. I'm sorry for the one-two effect of the MAGA hat into the slave comment. Uh, and I'm sorry for people who felt let down by that moment. Kanye also spoke about the Drake and Pusha T feud and finally reveals if he leaked the info about Drizzy's son Adonis. So you didn't oh. get Pusha T the information? No, I didn't. Okay. But what, like, don't pull me to this conversation. Like, I'm yay. I got major things to do other than be telling him some information about Drake. You, you know what I mean? Like, that's like, gossipy. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't sit around and do that. Like, I honestly don't care that much, in all honesty, bro. But all right, Kanye did spill some tea and reveals why Drake may have had a problem with him. He's talking about the Drake thing. It like, it, it hits me in a really sensitive place because you like hang around people and they come to your house and be around your family and this and that. And then they get mad about a beat and then send you purple demon emojis. And it's like, what I was saying earlier, it's like, I don't play like that. I don't, you know, ain't nobody got no beef. Ain't nobody going to jail. For anybody right. that just tuned in, you're saying yeah. that this is what happened with between you and Drake. Yeah. Over beats? 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 Apparently, the beat in question was Lift Yourself, the one Ye used to troll everyone with poopity scoop lyrics. Low key, still a jam. But all right, after Kanye gave us the tea, Drizzy then seemed to confirm it all by doing what? Posting purple demon emojis and adding a laughing emoji. <laughs> This response is pettier than bringing out Cardi B and Travis on tour during their feud with Nicki Minaj. But all right, if you want more Yeezy and Drizzy tea, hit that sub button, the bell button, and smash the like button. Peace, guys.